hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is lily if you're new here if you're not then welcome to the baking video all right so here's the recipe i'm going to be using it is my grandmom's recipe i think she got from Shoprite. um here's everything that you need this is just for regular chocolate chips but i'm going to be adding nutella swirls so white flour, baking soda, vanilla extract, table salt, Nutella. We're using vegan butter, um, cause that's all we got here. Eggs, uh, white sugar, and then brown sugar. Currently, don't have a lot, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, here we go. All right, so first steps, you're gonna add the butter and sugar to a mixer. I have a mixer here. And then you mix that together until it's combined. The eggs and the vanilla extract as well. All right, and once that is all in, then you just mix again. Next, you want to add the flour, salt, baking soda, and I mix that in a separate bowl. You also then want to add the brown sugar in with the egg mixture and combine that again. While that's combining over here, I have all of our dry ingredients. So once that combines, we're going to add that to the mixture. Got my trays ready. We do use these little sheets so that the cookies don't stick. If you don't have them, just spray them with like baking um, spray. So now that is completely mixed up. Everything is combined. So now we're going to add the dry ingredients into there. And then the chocolate chips and then the Nutella. When it's all finally combined it will look like this and that's when you start to scoop onto the trays okay so i added part of the dough to a separate bowl i'm going to add in some spoonfuls of nutella and just mix it through the batter and then put it on the tray okay so i just added it to the batter and i'm just mixing it in i'm using a knife but probably should use a spoon i'm just mixing it into the batter like this just trying to combine it as much as possible oven is preheated we're gonna stick these in for i'd say actually 10 to 12 minutes and then check on them see if they need cooked a little more and then we'll see how they go while the cookies are baking i wanted to do a quick shout out to the thread head this is where i got my custom made sweatshirt she can do custom sweatshirts she can also do t-shirts really anything that you want um i'll link her instagram down below she can do custom designs she also um releases new t-shirts and sweatshirts every week usually um she ships them out all over so yeah if you want a custom design these are just some flowers on a plain gray sweatshirt really love the colors of it she will do anything you want honestly so yeah hit her up i will link her down below but yeah all right and these are the first batch of the dairy free cookies they come out looking pretty good they do look a bit tie-dye because it didn't totally blend in but they're looking nice i'm so excited all right so thank you for watching my video that is all i have for you today the cookies turned out amazing all right hit that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you try the recipe if you're looking for other recipes check out my blog and my instagram account i'll link them down below all right bye